guys welcome to another video just one thing before we get started this is a textured scented nail polish and let's just say the scent of cheese puffs didn't help me get through this craft kit speaking of which this is a yarn llama craft kit by craftastic and i'm just going to open this up and see what we have and finding the instruction book here it looks like i'm going to need a few extra things in addition to this kit some scissors a ruler, a pencil or pen, some tape, and an iron. And from my experience making this kit, I'm going to say you probably don't need a pen or pencil, but you're definitely going to want some hot glue. So getting started with step one, just going to make the form of the llama. There's a nice diagram at the bottom that shows you in which order to stack the pieces. And they give you some adhesive in order to stick it together. My only thing with the double-sided adhesive is that once you stick it on one side, it's really hard to get the, the backing off the second side. So with the form all together, it's time to start wrapping the yarn, which means cutting the yarn first. My only thing is everything is in yards. So using the ruler was helpful, but you still had to measure out quite a bit of yarn each time. And it's actually not until step 10 that you're done wrapping the yarn. So I'm gonna try and speed through this as much as possible just because it's very repetitive and it really just has to do with cutting the right size yarn and wrapping it around the form. It was while I was wrapping the legs that I noticed the feet really weren't secure. I'd almost suggest using adhesive when attaching the purple yarn to the feet for that reason. Just to really keep the yarn from unraveling off the feet. I didn't really have too much issue until it came to step nine. I definitely suggest putting more adhesive than you think you need on the nose of the form. That way the yarn really has a place to stick. I did end up having to fix mine at some point after the fact just because the yarn was really falling off the end. And these were issues that just kind of went hand in hand with step 10. I did end up not having enough yarn to wrap the entire form when it came to step 10, but luckily they included enough yarn that I was able to go back after the fact and clean it up a bit by adding some more yarn. The next few steps are just making a few pom-poms to attach to make a tail and a poof of hair on top of the llama's head. The only thing that was time consuming here was pulling apart the pieces of yarn in order to make the pom-poms fluffy. Once the pom-poms are done, it's time to attach the ears and eyes. It does say it's optional to use your own clear drying glue, which probably would have been easier, but I was able to make a go at using the adhesive. Now this next part is actually finger crocheting some of the smaller threads together. And I thought I was going to absolutely hate this part because it looked complicated. But actually, it wasn't that bad, and the instructions that the kit included were really easy to follow, and once you got the hang of it, it went by really quick. And this ends up being the bridle for the llama. Moving on to the next section, it's going to be making the blanket for the llama. And there's one really annoying typo at this section, and it says to cut 13 4-inch pieces of pink yarn and 12 4-inch pieces of orange yarn in order to make the fringe. You actually need to cut 25 of each. And I will admit I didn't follow the instructions for a couple of these steps here. Instead of using an iron to set the adhesive, I ended up just reinforcing the adhesive with hot glue. 
since I already had it out for gluing the pom-poms on. And instead of using 18 yellow pom-poms and 18 purple pom-poms around the edge of the blanket, I used 12 and 12. And since I've noticed that, I am going back and I'm going to fix it. Just a couple more steps here to finish this up, gluing the blanket on because I refuse to use the adhesive for that, and making a couple of tassels in order to complete the look of the llama. Overall, I really liked how this came together. There were a couple of things that I was a little on the fence about, but ultimately this was a nice craft kit. My favorite part of this craft kit was probably the instruction booklet. Even though it had a couple of typos, it did a really great job with the pictures that it included. Another great thing about this craft kit is that it definitely included enough materials in order to make the finished craft, even if there were a couple steps where I felt like the measurements were off or the way I wrapped the llama may have made it so that my yarn didn't go as far. As far as the finished craft goes, it did turn out looking like the picture on the box, which is always a good sign, and it's a really cute decoration. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the like button before you go. And if you want to see more of my videos, remember to subscribe or check out more of my playlists here. And I'll see you next week.